we're just going to talk about the saga of Harris and Crab Feathers in full so you have something to guide you as you play it. Um, this will have me playing it and you can play along. It'll also have me um, uh, doing some left hand with the beat and you can just mess around and solo and uh, everything. So, uh, so let's start. Um, you need to know the melody, of course. So. So remember, it's got to be it's three four. So we have to go one two three 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 one two. And of course, we eventually get down to the A flat major seven. Um, so let's just take a look. So uh, E minor chord to start, right? So you can do a nice E minor chord. We talked about that one. And down to the C major seven this way. A minor seven before going back to E minor seven. All that works really well. You already know that one. Then it's the D minor seven to the B flat major seven this way. Pause it now because here's the G minor 7. Some of the notes won't be accurate because of accidentals, but whatever. Perfect. And then we get back to D minor 7. All right. And then we get to this really wacky part here, which is the A flat major 7 chord, which you can play like this. Very nice chord, right? All right, so there's your A flat major 7 in second inversion. Um, your right hand, the melody, you know. You, you best to start on finger four. All right, and it's all based on two groupings of two, right? Even though we're in three four, we're now all of a sudden everything, the melody is following a pairing of two beats half note and quarter note tied. to do actually is we like to kind of come out so as you come out of it the C minor 7 and then the A minor 7 I just like to do like this because there is a C in the melody so you can't really play that A minor 7 this way. A major 7, A flat major 7, sorry, that way. You can't play it that way because melody takes the notes. So you might as well just go from this C minor 7 to that A flat major 7. Then from there, F minor 7, second inversion. C minor 7. So they're again, they're all same kind of inversions. All right. And next what we'll do is we'll uh, have me playing along with the song.
Next for you on this take is uh, we're going to let you play along with it. Uh, you have to follow along on your page, of course. Um, I'll do all the chording, left hand chording for it with the beat, no right hand whatsoever, and we'll just throw up the key signature so we know which one we're looking at. And um, uh, you can do it, we'll do it twice through. So we'll do once you playing the melody and once you doing uh, a solo. And you can just use this portion of the video to help you uh, play along. Time for a solo. 